We are currently on our way to Sock Lake. Been wanting to get back here for months. Snow crossing. Yeah, this trail's grown in. Yeah, I can't even see the trail. It's down, to, it's down that way. There better be some really good fishing down here. Crampons really help. We are currently en route to Sock Lake to do some trout fishing. I believe we are the first ones up here. So, should be a really good experience. There's the lake full of rainbow trout. Anyways, this trail, it's in bad shape and there's a lot of snow crossings and not a whole lot to stop you. So you gotta stay focused out here. Definitely the first back to the lake for 2020. It's gonna be a good time. Trail clears out. Lost side of the trail, but we are not lost. It's gonna be a hard climb out. I'm gonna give myself at least an hour and a half to hike out of here. When there is no snow, it takes about a good half an hour, give or take, with all this snow and lack of trail. We'll make for an interesting hike out, but we are fully prepared for any kind of situation that might arise. And the fishing down here hopefully will be really good. You can see him jumping. I can't get it on film because it's too small, but you can see jumping fish down there, which is a good sign. The water looks really nice. Looking down from the top of Sock Mountain to the lake, it looks fairly easy to get down here. But when you get down sliding on the snow and crossing all kinds of brush, it gets difficult very fast. And it's, even with these cleats on, it's hard to stop sliding in this snow. Here's a view of Sock Lake from the shoreline. That's out here. Be 
can see anything up here. There could be bear, cougar, mountain goats. But the fishing is what I'm after. And having having these make crossing the stream hopefully safe. Let's find out. Definitely works. They don't work really well on rocks, but fortunately we're not going to be hiking around on too many rocks. And that way up there in the center of the screen, yeah, right, right about here is where we came down and zigzagged across the snow line down into the lake. Got to be careful with my fishing pole because I don't want to break the tip off before we even start fishing. Kind of duck way down because I don't want to break my pole. Plus the branches are pretty gnarly. A lot of snow back here. Here is the water's edge, and it's the coldness. Got my crap all lined out. I'm gonna take the first cast. Just in case you're wondering, I did catch that trout on this bleeding frog flatfish. Pretty good little setup. Started out with the scent power bait. Too bad. Get it wet. Leave a comment below and let me know what kind of trout you think this is. If I let him go. I think we have another trout on. Let's clear away some of the grass. Let's see what we got going on. It's just so, they're so small that even with the drag set out, they still don't do anything. But yeah, that's a, I definitely have one. It's probably a little nano tiny rainbow trout. I can't even tell if I'm reeling anything. It's actually a decent one. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a rainbow trout, and that's a keeper. Boy, that's a nice rainbow trout, too. It's a wild one. Not a bad trout. Be a good catch and cook. Nothing quite like the smell of butter in the pan.
put in a, I put a good whack of butter in there. So. You can, if you cut it in half, we can throw it in there. Wild mountain trout cooking up on the pan. Long hike out of here. On the trail. Trail is coming to an end. Those are marmots.